What's going on? Anthony's still here with the Way of Life Boot Camp. What's up? What's Forrest up? Fallen, and we're here at the Fitness Business Summit 2014. And we're here with Mike Woodfield with the top 5% of trainers here. And uh, we're just going to ask him a couple questions. Actually, just one question. That one brewing question that's on Take all Take notes. Our minds. Take notes, all right? You got your notes out? You got your paper? <laughs> we're ready? All right, Way of Life Boot Campers. So what we want to ask, uh, Mike, is can you give us a couple tips on fat loss? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, the, the first thing you want to do is understand that it's going to be hard. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, okay? I don't believe in sugarcoating it. So understand that it is going to be hard. So mentally prepare. That right there is going to break down some barriers. And that way, if you're looking for the easy way out, it's not going to happen. So that's number one, all right? Uh, another one is is track what's working. You know, track what you're eating, track your workouts, and really, you know, follow it for a good two weeks. And if it's working, then you know to stick with it. If it's not, you know to move on. So that's another one. And a, a good way to track your food is typically, you know, two days during the week. It could be like Monday and Tuesday, and then one weekend day. Because as we know, on weekends we tend to relax a little bit too much and, and we cut loose. Yes. And you'll, you'll we see know that all too well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. And so you'll see on paper where you're goofing up and where you can fix it. So that's that's another thing that's track. And then the same thing with workouts. Uh, you know, track. You know, did you have a great workout? Was there something you feel like you could do something better? And what you want to do is, you know, I don't. You know, everybody's exercise program is different. But what I like to do is look at one or two exercises and look how I can improve that within the program. Whether it's a couple more reps, whether it's just a little bit more resistance. Because when you're progressing, that means you're going to burn more fat. That's, that's the three tips. There. And you lost a, a huge amount of weight. Yeah, 105 pounds. Lost 105 pounds, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. So <laughs> if you're going to listen to somebody, listen to somebody who's been there, done that. Guys, okay. Mike has broke my record. Yeah. I lost 100. We're talking about 100. Yeah, we're taking five pounds over the Anthony Steele. <laughs> Man. <laughs> and then tell us about your workout finishers. Yes. Uh, this, is a, this is a great thing. So listen closely with listen, this. Listen. Yeah, absolutely. It's basically what you're doing is when you think of a, of a workout, typically what you do is you go in and you do your warm up and then you do your workout. And then 99% of the time, it's what we're wired to do. We get on that treadmill or we get on that elliptical. And yeah. we do that for 30, 45, maybe even 60 minutes. Well, what I want to do is I want to take that out and I want to replace that with a finisher. And that way we're going to work more muscle groups. So you're going to do less rest, but you're going to be able to still give it as much effort because while your legs are resting, we're going to work your upper body. While your upper body is resting, we're going to work your lower body. And bam, you're done in 10 minutes or less, and you're going to get the same results as if you did 30 minutes on a treadmill. And so that's, that's that's the idea behind a finisher, man. Yes. So the, we're we're gonna post we're gonna post the link yep. for you guys below. It's the, it's the workout finisher link. We're gonna post it right down here. So scroll down, click on it. This is Mike Whitfield, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Mike. Absolutely. All right, Mike. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs>